told you going on this shady cruise was a bad idea. Hey, come on. The tickets were free. Pico knows a guy. Finally, land. Attention all passengers. We've unfortunately sprung a leak. Until another cruise ship can come pick you up, you'll be spending the next three weeks on this beautiful island of Pissville. Three weeks? We can't stay here that long! Your dad's gonna freak! Yo, 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 wait a minute. You're the funny beep boop guy. And his girlfriend. What are you doing washing up around here? We were supposed to be on a relaxing cruise, but something's up with the ship. We're gonna be stuck here for a while. Well, you ran into the right guy. I shouldn't be showing you this, but I've been studying magic for a few years now. Any place you can think of, this universe or another, I can get you there. But my buddy's the town mayor, and we've been trying to draw in some new tourists. A song with the boyfriend.xml would do numbers. Huh. We don't have much of a choice, do we? All right, sure, let's jam. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hey, you're pretty good. Say, wasn't this supposed to be a vacation for you? Why don't we take this into town? Yeah, I don't see why not. Welcome to Pissville. I built this town with a couple buddies of mine. I had a little bit of a rough time and didn't have anywhere to go. So my buddy Chris and I found this island, fixed it up, and now it's this beautiful place you see. Yo, what's that over there? Huh? Oh, that there is the Pissville Pyramid. It's connected to a whole mall we built. Hey, you mind if we do another song? This is the perfect spot for it. Hell yeah! But uh, you gotta portal us back home right after. I'm sure her dad's worried sick. <laughs> sure thing, bud. <laughs> to get going <laughs> all right all right hey thanks for doing this man i know it means a lot to everyone here now let's just get you home wait uh, how do you open those portals anyways <laughs> well i'm glad you asked what you have wings that doesn't answer my question though you see an avian's wings are full of power a single feather could power an entire city for a week that's concerning it's a shame most avians never learned how to channel their powers Maybe they'd still be around. When I moved in, I spent a lot of time researching and learning about magic. I can only do a few spells now, but the main thing are those fancy portals. Well, dude, you can't just tell me you have wings and not show them off. Down for one more? Three, two, one, go. <laughs>
For that. Turns out the breaking of human bones is very... interesting. Uh, all right. Who's next? Geese? Are you ready? What? Uh, uh... Uh, I, I need to go to the bathroom. What?
Hey, sport! Oh, dear. D dad what, what what's happening to me? <sighs> I guess it's finally time I told you the truth. Before you were born, there was a race of magical creatures called avians. They were a peaceful species. They looked just like humans, but with the ability to shapeshift parts of their bodies into those of birds. Most avians learned to grow wings, while the stronger ones who studied their craft grew beaks, tail feathers, and talons to show off. One of them even grew a bird brain. That didn't end well, don't do that. For the most part, avians chose to live high in the skies, separated from the rest of society, in a cloud city known as Fatero. They would utilize their own enchanted feathers to generate energy for spells, shapeshifting, and most importantly, to power the city. This surplus of energy would not go unnoticed by humans, and they wanted it for themselves. The endless and fruitless pursuit of our natural bounty by the masses tore human civilization apart, only widening the gap between us and skyrocketing their jealousy and rage. Eventually, as the world's leaders saw their own comfy lives begin to decline in turn, they immediately took action and conspired to end the pursuit for good. They launched a relentless assault with their mightiest weapons, this time not made to conquer, but to kill. The Terra was obliterated in a single night, along with every avian in existence. That is, at least, what they'd thought. A small group of avians, perhaps only four or five, managed to escape, posing as humans and blending into society. Your mother and I were among them. After things had settled down and our people were forgotten, we had you. And, as you're finding out now, we avians usually sprout our wings around the age of 18. So all this time, I, I haven't been human? Well, not exactly. Think of yourself as a human with a gift. Wait, does that mean you have wings too? I sure do. It'll be nice to be able to stretch them around the house from now on. Wow, are those blue jay wings? It's simply the species that comes most naturally to me. With enough training though, resembling any bird is possible. As for the species that comes naturally to you, I think you've probably figured it out by now. That's why my legal name is Geese? That's right. When you were born, you had a few tiny goose feathers on your back. So we named you after your first species, just like your late Uncle Chicken and Grandpa Fluffyback Tip Babbler. But enough of that, bud. You have your wings. Why don't we go take them out for a spin? You mean like, flying? It's easier than you think. I'll show you the ropes. Grab your jacket, it can get cold up there. So yeah, it should be a pretty easy grab. I'll say. Some middle-aged guy. Consider him dead. What are you two up to? There's a bounty on this guy on Earth. It's paying big. So you're just gonna kill a guy? For money? Hell yeah we are! We're demons, man! Besides, isn't your dad the, uh, pillar of death? I'd expect you to be into this sort of thing. Listen, I respect death, but not for something simple like money. Everyone has a time, and you can't mess with that. Well, maybe his time is now. Hey, screw this guy. Let's go get this bag.
from home. You won't believe it. I flew all the way home all by myself. My landing was a bit rough, but hey, I did it. It was great. Dad, are you home? Dad. <gasps> Dad? Dad, come on. Stay with me. Dad, wake up. No. Dad, no. Please. Dad, I need you. Don't go. Don't. Please. Please don't go. Dad. Dad. Dad, come on. Fuck. Dad, he has a kid. <laughs> wake up, Dad. Wake up, please. I'm so sorry. I... I tried to stop them. I you, you did this. It wasn't me. I swear. I you dirty fucking demon. You deserve a pit deeper than hell. I won't let my father die in vain. I'll fucking kill you. Why the hell are you still here? Uh, you've been out for, uh, for a few days now. I've been here trying to help out. Was that all a dream, or...? Th that all really happened. And my dad? Yeah. <sighs> you didn't do it, did you? No, I, I tried to stop those two, but they, uh, got away. I wish I could have done more. Well, hey, thanks for being here for me. My name's Geese, by the way. The name's Chris. Chris Munchie. Now that you're up, we gotta find somewhere to hide you. Now that they know he had a kid, there's no telling when they'll come back. Yo, Geese. Can I, uh, can I talk to you about something? Hey, sure, what's up? You've been living here alone for years now. Hey, don't you think it's time you went back? Yeah, but I love it here. I've been studying magic. Turns out the avians had a whole ton of stuff they could do. And with you visiting, what's there to miss? Don't you miss being around people? Yeah, about that. I was thinking, you and I have already built a few houses here, and I love the place so much. What if we made it its own little town? There's a beach right over there with a dock. We could get some stores put in, maybe even a mall. Only problem is I wouldn't know what to call it. Uh, it, it it's a shitty island in the middle of nowhere. It, it's gonna be something stupid. What about Pissville?
Yeah. 